My name is Sanjay Krishnan, and today I'm going to be talking about a project in the Citrus Data and Democracy Initiative called CAFE, the Collective Assessment and Feedback Engine. And I put out a provocative subtitle, this is Using Machine Learning to Improve Democracy. So we've all been told that the government is increasingly disconnected from the citizens. But if we as citizens want to give feedback to the government, what avenues do we have to do this? Uh, as trivial as this may sound, opinion polls are actually one way to do this. Elected leaders pay a lot of attention to opinion polls, and this is because they do have a few advantages. They have really good scale, they can poll a very large group of people, <clears throat> and they have statistical significance on the results, but the problem is they fundamentally have a narrow scope, that the interaction model is kind of top down, an elected leader really needs to know what they're looking for, and they can't ask an open-ended question. So this is why some people prefer town hall meetings. But on, on the other hand, this has exactly the opposite problems of the, of the opinion poll. That while it's transparent, you get a personal interaction with an elected leader, and it allows for open-ended dialogue, they fundamentally lack scale. A town hall meeting of 100 people can easily become unruly. So we at the Citrus Data and Democracy Initiative believe in the age of big data and social media, can we do better? What is there can, that we can do? Well. Who are we kidding? Social media as it is is not suited for this task. We all know if politicians open up the floodgate to Twitter or Facebook, they're just going to be deluged with inappropriate, irrelevant ideas. We all have that one friend on Facebook. So the question is, how do we make this process constructive? And that's where a cafe comes in. The idea is that we want to create a space, a social media application, that citizens can collectively and collaboratively create meaningful suggestions to the government that resist the efforts of special interests and gaming. And the cool, the cool research questions on the, are on the intersection of algorithmic design from information filtering and human factors design, thinking about how we present the results of these algorithms and how we reason about the algorithms in its entirety. So here's what an instance of CAFE looks like. This was a pilot project with the California state government, and uh, we created something called the California Report Card. So in the first step, citizens arrive at the report card, and they grade the state of California on hot-button issues, such as education or health care. They give a grade from A through F. And this, this is quantitative data that frames the next qualitative section, that we now ask citizens, what, what would you like to see in the report card? What issue is important to you? And then we have another quantitative layer on top of this qualitative thing to structure this part of the conversation by saying that, well, you can read and rate other people's ideas and identify if any of their ideas resonate with you. Now, one, one thing that's really cool is this is where the interplay between algorithms and human factors comes in. We, we avoided the boring list-based interfaces that you traditionally see and made this fun visually engaging, make the users engage with the data. We created this 2D map that visualizes how different participants are. So you can see this conversation and you can see where everyone stands with respect to you, what they're saying, and interact with the data in kind of a meaningful way. And this allows for these kinds of new types of insights. On one hand, we can create these maps that says that from each one of the districts of California, which issues are resonating with what participants. On the other hand, we can also build this out and get the qualitative insight saying that, well, let's build a statistical reputation model that incorporates not only the, rate, the average rating, but also disagreement and sample size to extract what is interesting about this conversation. What are key insights that are interesting about this conversation? So this is kind of a particularly interesting idea that I just wanted to highlight. So like I said, when we, make a big when we make a big claim about something like using machine learning to improve democracy, we really have to understand how our system works from an end-to-end -end perspective. And one of, the, one of the problems that we've been looking at is a question of bias and how can we mitigate these biases. And we have a new paper at ACM Rexis that shows that, well, peer pressure does affect systems like this. And we can actually use Bayesian regression techniques to mitigate some of these influences. And I just want to end on that note that when we do design these complex AI-driven systems, we have to really understand from an end-to-end -end perspective how our algorithms work, not just designing our algorithms in isolation, but also designing them with the human interactions in mind. Thank you. We'll have a poster in the Sitarja Dai Hall on this project. Feel free to email me and ask me any questions.